So this is my Linux X11 window manager. This is it running inside of a uh, Xcipher, which is a, uh, I guess a cart compartmentalization. Yeah, so, so you can have nested X servers. So this is, this would, this, uh, this window right here would be your desktop, but for uh, developing and demonstration purposes, this is easier. So at the moment, it's very simple, doesn't do very much, but this is to demonstrate the ability to uh, like uh, event programming and using other libraries. So right now, I just pressed Alt One, and that opened up this here. A uh, that that opened up this here. Uh, this uh, terminal. This is Xterm. Uh, right now, I don't have any names. I don't have any icons. But you can full screen it. You can minimize it. If you alt tab, it will crash because there I have not. Uh, there's like one line I think I need to add to to make it not crash. But I mean, like I can just press Alt One. You know, opens up a terminal, and then like I open Firefox or whatever. Fire. I don't have Firefox installed. Uh, Terminator. So this is the terminal that I normally use on my uh, on my main desktop. So here you can you can I'm alt clicking. I'm holding alt and left clicking to drag around, and I can alt right click to resize the window. As you can see, it resizes the frame and whatnot, and the buttons move everything. So I mean, like you can have it off the edge. Uh, I don't think I did this. It doesn't seem I have. But I can Alt Tab, so hand off my mouse, and I can I can Alt Tab through the through the uh, through the windows. There's no like display or anything, so you hold Alt, you can just tab through everything. It's a very light, but it's light because there's just not much to it. So this uh, this is actually usable if you wanted to use this. This is very usable. I I eventually want to. Or I don't know. This this is more of like a fun side project thing. This would have never be used in actual. Uh, or, or I don't know. Some people might use it. I might even use it if I make it better one day because of how freaking like fast it is. Like I love how just it it has. I love how simple it is. It's not over complicated, but I do need to. But things become quote unquote over complicated when they become featureful, like the window manager I'm using now, which is open box, which has titles, which has icons uh, for full screening and stuff. You can't full screen Xcipher because uh, it's a static size. But I mean, and I can press Alt, Alt Escape, and that will close it. <laughs> that's that's more of a testing thing. But uh, the uh, a quick quick overview of the code. So it creates the window manager. This uh, this allows X11 to uh, run multi-threaded. Uh, so I you don't manage the threads. This is all X11 under the hood. So that's all done for you. And then we just run window dot loop, which is which is the loop. And what it does, it creates an event. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it creates an event. An event uh, union. This is an X11 event union. Here, this gets the next event. So I'm using synchronous. So this waits for inputs. It's not continuously running, so it blocks. Um, it blocks until it receives an input. Uh, asynchronous is sort of, are arguably faster. I don't know. I don't remember. This was a while ago. But uh, I mean, this is all the, the synchronous and asynchronous of event driven programming. So then you switch the type, which is the type of event that happened. And here you got like key press, you got a configure request, which is like when a window is created, a map request is part of when a window is created, button press. I wonder what that is. Key release, you know, key press. Motion notify, that's when you move your mouse. Then unmap notify, that's when you will a, uh, it's like when you close a window or something like that. So, I mean, uh, and then they all have their handler functions. 
This is a very straightforward program. This isn't very complicated. Very straightforward, but it does, it can, you can have a lot of features to it. So it's not, it's not simple, but it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot to understand and follow, I think. So this is, while this is a larger project, it is a, honestly, a simpler project. I mean, it's like anyone could do this, really. It seems complicated. It really is not. It's really not that complicated. X11 library makes it very easy to create these. So, uh, but creating actual applications with X11 is when things become a lot more, um, a lot more complicated because you have to manage button presses. You have to manage where those buttons are. You have to, I actually haven't figured out how to display like proper images. So that's, that's like a, that's a thing you got to work with. And I mean, I had fun with this. This is fun. And honestly, like it is usable. It's very basic at the moment, but it is certainly usable besides the fact that it crashes, but that should be a very simple one liner fix for when you alt tab, you just remap the window and you'll be good. So, all right, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much.